How's it going, YouTube? Welcome to at Prelude Vibes. And today I'm gonna be replacing the cap and rotor on my '92 Honda Prelude. This uh, this '92 Prelude comes with an it came with an F22A1, the 2.2 single overhead cam. Honestly, I think it's an underrated engine, and I think it's a, an amazing engine. I've had this uh, this vehicle for like what six years, and this is the first time I'm changing the cap and rotor and the spark plug wires so i think it's a little bit overdue the spark plugs i'm gonna also do that and i think last time i i did those was before i moved to colorado which is almost two years ago so i know my bad all right i know so i'm gonna go ahead and get started we're gonna start with the cap and rotor first. all right guys so the cap and rotor this part i'm gonna take a picture before I take it apart that way I know where to put my wires you know you know this one goes over here this one you know that way whenever I go back together with it with the new one uh, I'm not like mis uh, misplacing or you know putting the wrong wires where they're not supposed to or whatever you know what I mean so it should be held on by three bolts here here and here and I think those are eight and they also have like a Phillips head that you could use to take them off. I'm going to take the wires off, but first I'm going to take a picture. Okay. All right, guys, so we got the cap off. To get the rotor off, it's held on by a Phillips screw in there. And the good thing about this one, it's actually pointing up. And we can just get a screwdriver, undo it. And the rotor just goes in there one way. There's no way you can, excuse my language, mess that up. There's no way you can mess that up. Okay, sorry if any kids watching, but, um, yeah let's uh take that off and then we'll compare with the new one the old one i already saw like how the cap looked on the other one it looked a little beat up so get a phillips right here and then loosen that up I'm gonna need both hands for this one. Let me put you guys over here. Alrighty guys, so there's also a gasket right here. The new, before I take that off, I'm gonna see if the new cap came with a, um, with this seal right here, with this O-ring. I think it's just to prevent from dirt from getting in there. All right, so it looks like we did get one. Right here, it was in a little bag. There's also, We'll compare that in a little bit. Promise I won't get them mixed up. There's also something else in here. Let's see. 
Oh, we also got new screws. Because I think those don't come out. I think once they go in, they don't come back out. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Alright guys, so now that we know for sure, we'll get this uh, O-ring out of there. Ooh, it's a little dry too. Okay. Yep. All right, guys, so the new one, the old one. This one has like some sort of vent port or something right here, which would be that on this one, the new one. I think it does the same thing, but right here, this is the old one. It looks like a little, like, they're burnt up, man. <laughs> Hopefully there's enough light in there. I'm sure there's enough light. So yeah. Those are done, dude. And then this is the rotor. Looks looks speed up. I think yeah, I think that was done a long time ago. So I've had this uh, vehicle for I want to say six years. I've never replaced the cap and rotor and or the wires so i think this is probably way overdue i think you need to replace these uh every what it what was it fifty thousand miles or every three years or something like that if i remember correctly but um this is a new rotor hey. so this is the new rotor not that's that's my helper right there <laughs> A little bit different but I think it'll do it's gonna be the correct one let's throw these on and see how that goes all right guys so like I said the rotor can only go in there one way so that hole lines up with that hole there's a hole where the screw goes into to hold it and just slides into place like that and oh whoops I forgot there should be a cover right there so let me put that cover on this cover on before I put the rotor on my bad guys my bad I know I'm doing terrible here okay we'll put this cover on Like so, if it'll stay, come on, that on and then now we put the rotor on and the slides in one way like so then we put the Phillips screw in there all right guys so I'm gonna put the the screw on I'm gonna need both hands but yeah it's a little Phillips screw I don't know if you guys can see that and it just goes into the hole where the rotor hole and the distributor hole line up, okay? 
Just put that in there and tighten it up. Should be good. So you tighten up the rotor, you put the cap on, and then you put your three new screws back in there, and then you tighten it up the same way you took them off. So now that we have the distributor cap on there, it's ready for wires. We'll put the wires on there where they belong. We'll pop the old wires off on this side and we'll put some new plugs on there. Gap them to specifications. Plug everything up and start this baby up. So I reference back to the old picture that we took. Laid it out similar. And I'm just... Uh, Plugging everything in. Let's see. Right okay. So one, so one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And then we'll plug in the ignition coil there. Do that. These wires don't look that bad. There's a hook here. Mm. You just hook this for your coil wire right there. And we'll we'll undo these. We'll undo these old ones and put some plugs in there.
All right, guys, so these are the old plugs, and I think it was way overdue. I'm getting new ones for sure. Had some, what is that, the porcelain was leaking. It was just overdue, man. It was like way overdue. These plugs were in there, I want to say two years, maybe a year and a half, I'm not sure, but... I think it's a year and a half. Oh yeah, by the way, what is it? Uh, 44, 44 thousands, if I remember correctly. Is that is that right? 44 thousands of an inch. Whatever. However you read this, 40, uh, 0.044. <laughs> if I said that right, but anyways. So now that we have new spark plugs, new spark plug wires, uh, cap, new cap and rotor, we're gonna go hit uh, uh, start it. We're gonna go start it now, and uh, hopefully there are no misfires or anything. Hopefully I got my firing order correctly on the wires. I think I think they're correct. I referenced my picture. Let's go hit. Let's go hit the starter, <laughs> guys. We find the key here. Checking we're in neutral. <laughs> Alrighty. Clutching. Oh my god, we got it right. Dude, it even sounds way better. It's quieter. got it up to 90 and no misfires we got we got the wires right for sure if you would have gotten the wires wrong you would have known for sure uh, as soon as you started it up <laughs> um but yeah more a better acceleration more responsive for sure it needed it definitely needed those new spark plugs for sure man like you saw the, the condition the old ones were um but yeah I'm going to go clean up my tools, get ready for the work week. Um, they have me on light duty, but hey, it's still work. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so um, if you found this video to be helpful, please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Um, follow me on Instagram at xoscar6. And you guys have an awesome weekend. Stay safe. Don't do anything crazy. Peace.